Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter Superstar Glow Highlighter for her holiday collection. So if you want to see my thoughts on this, as well as me comparing it to a lot of different highlighters, then just keep watching. <laughs> If you are new here, hi, my name is Morgan. Basically, I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just like knowing about all of the new new on the market. So today I was very curious about the Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter Superstar Glow. Now I'm sure she will have more for her holiday collection, but this was released early access to Rouge members on Sephora for one day only. They had this event where you kind of got a preview and got to purchase select items that are coming out for the holidays. They do this every year in store, but I think obviously they just did it online because yeah and this is one of the items that they previewed that we could purchase so it is currently not available anymore but I'm sure it's going to be available very very soon so what struck me about this highlighter is it is $55 that is very very pricey for a single highlighter and in a normal world I would not have purchased a $55 highlighter but I'm spending money so you don't have to. She did come out with a highlighter like this last year as well. I didn't pick it up because I was actually being sensible on like this year. So unfortunately, I don't have that one to compare to this one. But yeah, I blacked out and bought it this year. <laughs> so this online, this says it is limited edition. She has a 30-month shelf life and is made in Italy. Makeup in Italy is the best. It says limited edition online and it is an oversized face and body highlighter in a buildable, easy to blend powder formula for the ultimate soft focus, super luminous glow. So this is not advertising to be super glowy. It's soft focus. Highlighted ingredients, pearlescent pigments, lightweight oils and squalane, and film forming polymers. I will put the link to this down below if you are curious. So I actually haven't put this on my face yet. So we are going to do that together. And then I'm going to do some comparisons to some other highlighters that you guys requested. To apply, I'm using my current favorite highlighter brush. This is the Kaleidos H1. And before we dig in though, let's take a look at the pack Packaging. This is the size of her bronzer packaging and it does have this hole so that the pan does come out I believe I'm pretty sure that's how it works and it's just this kind of almost a matte silver compact It's not the prettiest. I like it really really shiny, but um, it's different good for the holidays and then this is what she looks like I would say this is a Slightly champagne leaning a bit more pink highlight. It has a little bit of peachiness in it as well and a slight very subtle gold reflect. The texture of it is very very soft and smooth. It is not like a pressed gelée formula at all. It's like a pressed powder that is pretty loose. So I just want to show you maybe we can get a touch feel for the consistency. Like it picks up a lot on the brush because it is that like loose powder-esque kind of feel. So let's put her on. But I'm not getting like a lot of flyaway. Ooh, this is kind of really gorgeous, you guys. Ooh. I mean, I personally don't think anybody should spend $55 for one individual highlight, but I will say this blended seamlessly into the skin and really gives a true glow from within kind of look. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put on just a little bit more to see if we can build. And I really, really like this color. I feel like this is a pretty versatile color for a lot of different skin tones. I think it will work on a pretty nice range of people. Obviously, I can't speak for deeper complexions, but I mean, this would work for my mom who has a medium complexion and it just literally blends in. I don't have any cast. Ugh, I hate myself. This is beautiful and it's very smoothing to the skin. Wow. Okay. Let's apply it on this side. Guys, I'm kind of obsessed with this. It's like the perfect level of glowiness. It's glow from within, but it's still a little bit like extra. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I think it's going to work for a lot of different people. For a highlight review, there really is not much 
else we can really say. Like, I look radiant and gorgeous, and this is one of my new current favorite highlighters. Wow, cool, okay. Um, but for comparison's sake, obviously because it is a singular, very, very pricey highlighter, I put on my Instagram story asking if there were any specific highlighters that you wanted me to compare this to. So we are gonna do that. I will say, formulation-wise, a close match based on feel, I would say would probably be kind of like the Becca formula in that it's a little bit of a loose powder, it's not super hard pressed, but the Becca formula is definitely more reflective. This does not have as much reflective properties, but texture wise, Charlotte Tilbury has a little bit more of like creaminess to it, as in it almost, it's not sticky by any means, but it definitely has more drag when you put your finger across the powder. Anyways, we are gonna put the Charlotte Tilbury right on the very top of my hand. So she is right here. And we're gonna actually start off with the highlighter that I found the closest in my collection. And this is only $5. I was a little bit full of myself on my Instagram story. I told you guys I found a dupe. And um, the more that I've compared it, it's maybe, it's not an exact dupe, but it's very, very close. The tone is a touch different, but the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals, they are very comparable. Texture is very different. This one's a bit more smooth, a bit more harder press, but it's the one right below it. And you can see they are very, very close. I would say there's a touch more pink coming from the Charlotte Tilbury, whereas this one has a bit more gold to it. But my bougie on a budget girl is $5 versus $55. I'm going to actually put this right on the very tips of my cheek to see, maybe, yeah. And then also, I do think that right off the bat, I don't know. I don't know, but since we are building shimmer on shimmer, I do think definitely the formula quality is better in the Charlotte Tilbury. And the Wet n Wild's a bit more reflective, like right off the bat. And the Charlotte Tilbury is a bit more seamless in the skin. So the formula is better, but color wise, they're close. Okay, let's keep it moving. I went by the earliest requests because I kind of did it right before I started filming. Obviously, if I didn't have the powder, I couldn't swatch it. But we're going to do Becca Champagne Pop Classic here. Becca Champagne Pop is clearly more gold. It's harder to tell when it's just light, so you're only seeing the reflection. But definitely more gold. I got a request for the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter. I have mine in the shade Lit. This one is a bit more white, much more cool toned as well. The Balm Mary Luminizer. This one's a bit more yellow gold and it's not quite as smooth looking as the Charlotte Tilbury. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. You know, these are pretty close. I would say the Charlotte Tilbury's a bit more glowy. I'm actually, let me put them side by side because this is actually super close. Right at the very top, I'm gonna take it off after this, is the Essence, and this is a Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, this one's a bit more white, and the finish is very different, so. Charlotte Tilbury has definitely has more of a glow to it. I'm wiping that off, so the Charlotte Tilbury will still be on top. Charlotte Tilbury Lightgasm Highlighter. I mean, this one clearly is just more white gold, as opposed to the pinkiness that the Charlotte Tilbury has. Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Rose Gold. This one has a lot more pink to it. Last but not least, Jouer Rose Quartz Highlighter. So Jouer is on top, and then I re-swatched Charlotte Tilbury down here so you could see the direct comparisons. And the Jouer is just much more bright and very light pink. That's the swatches. I mean, definitely by far the Wet n Wild is the closest I could find. I think on the skin, you know, how different can they look? So that's why I am an advocate. If you don't want to spend $55, you might want to look into this. Essence did give me a double take. They are similar for sure. The rest, I would say, they're definitely completely different tones. So those were the swatch comparisons. Something I forgot to mention really quickly about the value of this highlighter and also, I don't know what I was thinking. This is also a body highlighter. So I really do like the fact that it is a bit more subtle and it will look gorgeous on the chest. Personally, I'm not a big fan of putting powder products all over my body, but for an occasion, why not? And I think this is a beautiful body highlighter. So that's what helps make the value of this go up 
in justifying the amount of products that you get. You are getting 11.5 grams of products and just for comparison's sake in the milk makeup highlighter you are getting 6.24 grams. So you're getting a little under half compared to the milk makeup highlighter. And so if you want to do it that way, $55, about half of that, you're going to spend $26, $27 if it's a more normal amount of highlighter, which isn't that bad. It's definitely still on the higher end of prices, but the value of this isn't bad. And if you're actually going to use this as a body highlighter, sure. I don't really know anybody that actually does that personally. And that's actually not something that I do. I can't really advocate for spending $55 on a highlighter, but what I can tell you is this is a bomb highlighter. Like, I'm really, really liking it. So, maybe if you do actually use these highlighters for your body, or if you don't have a lot of highlighters and you're really looking for your true one highlighter that you're actually going to use every day, then I would say go for it. But other than that, for $55, it's really good, but it's $55. So, you make whatever choice is best for you. So, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, already. I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!